hello and welcome in this video i will talk about a very common business scenario which is line level workflow approval in any journal level or any journal forms it can be general journal it can be invoice journal or it can be any journal where the workflow is there however those workflow we think that that is a header level workflow but what if a customer says that they will have multiple lines and for individual line the approvers will be different so those you know data or those documents needs to be reviewed by the individual approvers whoever is in the line level let's see how we can do that in microsoft dynamics 365 finance and operation so for a better understanding i have created a visual representation in this ppt so if there is a requirement for line level workflow where say suppose take an example in general journal invoice journal or any any journal where you know there are multiple lines are involved and there is a workflow the requirement is that in general journal there will be bookings in the same journal multiple lines will be there however based on the departments as a financial dimension the approvers will review those <coughs> so in general journal assume there are four lines and for first line the finance as a 10 financial dimension value the finance department the approver is shiva for hr 20 as a dimension value the approver is dev similarly for it it's anil for sales it is me ramit okay let's see how we can configure this in microsoft dynamics system of finance and operation general ledger <coughs> workflow we will go to the general ledger workflow page and there i have already configured this requirement but i will show how i i have configured this so i will click on new i will click on ledger daily journal workflow i will give id and password and now the workflow is opened so i will explain how we can do that and how we can achieve this you know uh, this line level workflow in the workflow framework so for other workflow what we do we bring this approval daily journal for this line level workflow what we will do we will use utilize this parallel activity so parallel activity is like if you want to have some activity or the approval activity or review activity parallelly we can use this parallel activity and in the parallel activity you can configure different branches so for our case we will configure this like start and then we will add the nodes here and we will end the nodes to end okay so maybe i will click here i will read join this so this is done and then i will double click on the parallel activity and i will see parallel branch which is two branches already given however for our case i will show for our case it is four branches we need to create what does this mean this comes under one branch like finance it will come under one branch hr will come under one branch it and sales will come under two different branch individual branch however here we have only two branch to bring another branch i need to just bring this branch drag into this tab and then again another br branch here okay now i have four branch under one parallel one parallel activity maybe i can give a name which is say uh, the name call parallel activity line workflow okay so it will change here now i will add this approvers in individual branches what i will do i will double click on this and i will now bring the approval tab here and i will join this and i will add this you know assignments for individual approvers so i will just click it to end and then i will add this here i will add say suppose finance branch finance as a condition so here basic settings 
finance here my approved word is shiva like i have mentioned in the ppt and i will add user for finance department it is shiva who needs to approve it i have added it and that's it one is done maybe what i can do i can create i can give a name called finance so that i can understand for which branch which which approver okay and now i will add sales sorry uh, it will be hr as a department under this hr branch i will add the approver for hr which is dev in my example up okay now i will add the basic settings which is hr hr now i will add the assignment for hr which is approver like dev for hr department dev will approve similarly i will go to this branch here i will give as it and for it department the approver is uh, anil okay i will add anil in here okay now basic settings assignments user anil it's done the last branch is so okay i will just change this name to it okay it is not changed why it is not changed i've changed this first i will change the name of this branch which is sales it's for our scenario and okay. Oops. okay for sales it is myself who is the approver i will similarly bring this and i will add my name in the assignment tab okay and then go to basic sales sales paste assignment which is user for me it is admin ramit okay so now what we have done as of now we have created four different branches under one parallel activity so here it is a department wise like financial dimension we have added for finance one approver for hr it is dev for it it is anil for sales it is me so now we have created the approval matrix but it is not a condition it is like any of the line or all of the line having these de details you know at the same time it will it will just shoot the approval workflow to them to the approvers it's not one by one i am repeating it's at the same time it will go okay so now we have created the approval matrix but how system will understand these branches is you know it will work for individual financial dimensions because we only have added the approvers right but we have not added any condition that based on what that approver will get the notification so for that how system will understand okay if in the line the financial dimension value is finance as a 10 or any value or hr or it or sales then this will be send to the approvers which we have configured as of now how we can do that so to do that we need to add a condition it's not the condition of you know it's, it's not the condition workflow like we add we create like you know we add a condition and then true false it's not like that it's a condition to trigger this workflow that means if the condition is made then only this workflow will trigger or start so for that we need to go to this workflow okay and then click on conditions and here the first 
thing it will be always run this step so for that we need to change it to run this step only when the following condition is met so where we are now we are in the finance department branch so what we need to do we need to write a logic that the condition will be in the line level if the financial dimension value as a department which is finance which as a 10 then only that will say that will be sent or will will start the workflow and will be sent to the individual approver for finance department so for that we will go to the <coughs> you know ledger dimension as a department okay and then maybe is for our case is 10 10 means what our <coughs> if i go to the ppt so fi finance means 10 as a value this is the system i will close this so now i have HR as a twenty. I will go to workflow. I will go to HR. Again, we need to go to HR and click on condition. Okay, and I need to select this run this step and add the condition, which is uh, line level. Okay, and then go to lines. And for our case, we need to select. this ledger dimension as a department okay this one is 20 20 means hr it means 30 so let's go to it department okay so run this step same thing <coughs> and go to line level and go to ledger dimension department condition is 30 and the last one is sales 40 which is on the approver sales conditions head conditions journal line table okay and then lines i will select the ledger dimension as department so for our case i am selecting this ledger dimension in the journal line level but for your case if it is a different field you can have that field as a condition so sales is 40 okay so now we'll go to workflow once again first the first step was what we have done as of now we have created parallel activity element and under the parallel activity we have created as per we have created branch as per our requirement okay for individual branch we have added individual approver or approvers you can configure approvers user group whatever it is but we have added as a individual approver like for finance it is shiva for hr it is dev for it it is anil for sales it is myself we have added the approvers but system to trigger the workflow for finance department as a financial dimension the line level we have added the condition condition means run this step only when the following condition is met which means the this element or these branches will only this approval will only be started when this you know uh, when this uh, financial dimension in the line level is selected okay similarly for hr it sense okay so this is the setup which is uh, all there is no other setup to work on this so for now what i will do i will showcase the demo after this let's see let's go to dynamics is the financial operation once again before that i can save and close this by the similar thing i will activate and all let's go so now this time is for detailed demo with multiple scenarios of course with the line level journal workflow first scenario which is each and every you know line is having different department as a dimension the first this one as a 10 is a finance department 20 as a you know say hr department 30 is it department 40 as a dimension value which is sales department so expectation is that it will shoot the workflow that workflow will trigger and will send to each an individual financial department or department wise approvers okay 
so i will submit this <clears throat> okay and then i will wait <clears throat> so i have submitted this i will have come to the workflow history form okay and then let's wait the workflow to trigger expectation is that four approvers i mean four departments is in the same journal there are four lines so <clears throat> the requirement is that uh, those four lines having different dimension so individual approvers the department approvers will get the notification or they need to review it at the same time it's not one by one at the same time the workflow will send or shoot to the four different approvers as per the assignment so this has started okay so now let's see okay so if the work items you can see four names for finance it was shiva for you know hr it was dev for it it was anil and the the sales it was me and my person tagged with julia so as per the requirement since it was line level workflow at the same time based on the department approvers got the notification they need to review it okay so what if i approve it will the journal will be approved the answer is of course no that is the reason we have configured this line level workflow so i have approved it still the three approvers need to review it line level and then only the workflow will be approved okay and at the same time also they can review it it's not that i will review and then they will review they have already got the notification they can review it along with me with their system and they can approve it or reject it so this is one scenario the second scenario is before i jump to the second scenario i wanted to repeat once again that this is a parallel activity and if you want to see the parallel activity in the view history workflow history you will you will notice that how it has triggered i will go up and i will come here and you will notice that pre evaluation finance evaluation true then it has sent to shiva second pre condition which is hr evaluation to true so why is it so remember we have added the condition in each and each and if individual branch that is the reason the condition has met and that has triggered the workflow and assigned to shiva the same time it has triggered to each and every branch and it has and workflow has assigned the approvers from the branch okay so this is the first scenario which i wanted to showcase second scenario second scenario is that what if we have added condition for few of the you know departments but not for all the departments what will happen in the same workflow see here i have added two department which is which is not in our list 023 is operation department and there is no workflow as such record as per the business justification so what will happen in this case let's see the answer is this system will or to approve this because there is no requirement for workflow and what is happening since we have you know pre evaluation criteria as a condition in the branches those condition will become as a false and it will just run and approve this automatically this is a system capability to understand that there is no such requirement to run the workflow and each and every branch will not run because there is no condition as such for operations department let's see let's wait i will just refresh let's wait it is taking some time
so now you see the workflow has been completed no one has approved it there is no one to approve it S still it has been approved the reason is this precondition evaluated to false no condition is met that is the reason system could not identify the approvers and that is the reason it has auto approved okay so that is the second scenario is all about third scenario third scenario is that <clears throat> here I have added finance department as 10 and 40 as a sales department but there is no HR and no IT so what will happen if there is no IT and I mean there is no condition or there is no line which is under our branches will that still send the approvers for IT department or uh, you know uh, for HR department the, ans the answer is of course no because here only line level 10 and 40 is there that means the approval for 40 departments which is sales which is me and approvers for 10 which is finance which is shiva so only this workflow will send you know it will will go to the go to shiva and to my name only because there is no such requirement for other departments approvers so let's see i will just check the view history So now you see only Shiva and Julia, Julia the person assigned to in my name. So only myself and Shiva's name has appeared. That is the reason. Uh, the reason is that in the line level only finance department and sales department was there in the line level as a department. That is the reason only two approvers got triggered and that has come to me and Shiva. And there is no, no such requirement for Anil as a you know IT department head or IT department approvers or you know, they have as a HR department approvers. There is no such requirement because in the line, those conditions are not met. And similarly, you can just check the view history. Okay. Here you can see the condition for those may become or made as false. So let's see. See here HR as false evaluated and IT as a false evaluated. Only, only you know, finance and the sales got evaluated true. That is the reason we both got the approver uh, notification that uh, Shiva and me only need to approve it. Others not required. Okay. So this is the state three scenario I wanted to cover up in this demo. And this is very important that any day client will come up and you can share the solution, but still they will come back with these questions. What will happen? So you need to be ready with this. I hope this will help you. And another bonus scenario is that that I will not showcase in the demo, maybe you can practice it, but I will just explain what is the scenario. Say suppose, uh, you know, in the first, first scenario, there, uh, four approvers were there, they need to have get it review, they need to review it. What if, you know, everyone approves and only one people or two people rejects it and that will come to the originator. So when originator correct it and resubmit it, will that still send to the approvers who has approved it previously or who had approved it previously the answer is no because system has a capability to understand that who has rejected it and who has still need to be reviewed uh, need to need to review those that workflow and system will only send to those people who has either not reviewed it or not re approved or rejected is still pending or who has rejected it and those who have already approved system will understand and will not go further to them. So that is the bonus scenario I wanted to cover up. So maybe, uh, you know, in some of the client discussion, you can just cover it up if they comes with the same question. So you can answer it. So these scenarios I wanted to cover up in this demo. I'm 100% sure this will be helpful in, if not now, then definitely in near future, in some day that client will come up with this requirement by line level workflow and you can configure it. 
and there has been a myth that journal level workflow is only the header level and we cannot configure line level but yes that has that has you know this is a myth by you know if you don't know after watching this video i i'm sure that you will be able to configure it and you will be able to solve the real problem which exists in the business okay so thanks for watching bye for now take care